Rolo chains and silver tone. Nothing is showing anywhere as far as the metal goes. These are glass beads and seafoam green and opaque green. Very beautiful necklace. Very long. Let's see, the first drop stops at without being extended. First drop is 34 inches and the next one is 36 inches. The extender on this is two and a half inches. This is beautiful. It's glass. We're doing it for $8. It's gorgeous. Okay, the next one is just a chain. It's a very nice chain. It's a lobster claw class. We're going to do it for $5. It's a very pretty chain. I was saying, oh, I like this necklace when I was looking at this part of it. I think it's very cute. Those look like Swarovski crystals. And then they had the crystals here on the uh, crocheted chain that looks Swarovski. They're very shiny and sparkly. And then I got to the top and saw the lobster claw class had a heart. And here's your extender with love by Brighton. So isn't that pretty? We're doing this one for 15. It's gorgeous. The next one we have here, um, this is not magnetic. I believe it to be 14 karat. This does not say 14 karat. It says name. And I forgot already what it said. But I do know for a fact that this is coral. And I don't believe it to be dyed coral. Looks like I... I-C-I-A. TCIA, one or the other. These are coral. And I looked at them through a loop. You could see that they were coral. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you here. See that texture on that? There you go. These are definitely coral. This necklace is almost 19 inches. And I'm going to keep this one. Honey, would you bag it for me? I would be glad to, honey. The next one is a pretty gunmetal. Choker style. There it is on Big Sky. All the rhinestones are there. It's in excellent condition. We'll do this one for three dollars. The next one is a white one, wire necklace with gold wire. Very pretty. We're going to do that one for two dollars. Yeah, definitely some of these are glass and some are acrylic. Yeah, those are acrylic. You have white cat's eye. You have these pieces here that are glass. Very pretty. Two dollars. Okay. Now, I don't know where to start. 
Oh, I'll start here with the magnetic bracelet. <laughs> Whoa, that's clasping clash, clasping onto everything. Here we go. It's got um, hematite. Looks like um, marcasite and hematite with little crystals in between too. A little stretchy. It's still in good stretch. We'll do this one for three. Where's that necklace that I didn't have a, anything for? That necklace I did for five dollars? It's probably in the bucket. Would you get it? <laughs> Would you get it out of the bucket, please? Or out of the bin, I should say. Out of the bin, hon? Yes, dear. Okay. You know what I do with my jewelry jars, y'all? I've got um, your names on them, and I put the items that you want in the little jars, and I have a little owl attached to it with your name. Lined up. Okay, this one. It's not exactly, but it's still pretty. Don't you think that would be pretty on that? Yeah. All right, so we're going to put that with it. It's still $5. So you get the chain and the heart with love. And the heart's real cute. I didn't really show it. Got little cat's eye stones in it. It's in excellent condition. I didn't look at it real hard. Who knows? It could be a signed piece. David, you're <laughs> Enduring patience helps you per persevere. Is that not true? That's a good angel. And she's got signed down here. Looks like Noria. Made in the USA 2015. Dickens Incorporated. We'll do her for two dollars. Very cute. I'm finding more necklaces. I thought we were for the bracelets. Beautiful chocolate colored beads. You've got the moon glow, you've got the transparent and the opaque. A little wood bead here. This has got a brass clasp extender with the bead. That's pretty. Very simple, but very pretty. We'll do that one for three dollars. I love the moon glow and the chocolate beads. And here I come again. Got some more necklaces. Yippee Skippy. AK, I think, and Klein. Very pretty little necklace here. There may be a little discoloration on the beads here. I don't know if that will polish off. As you can see. We'll do this one for three dollars. Here is a stone. I don't know what kind of stone. Y'all maybe can tell me. Well, it looks like a lapis, doesn't it? Or no? I don't know. You're, I don't know. I really don't know, honey. Denim okay. lapis, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. It is an express extender with a bead. Very cute. The length on this is not long. Let me see. Let me do it fully extended. Okay, here we go. Fully extended. It is 16 and a half inches. So it basically goes at the base of the neckline. It's very pretty. We'll do this one for five. Well, this 
one's pretty. This one's got a lobster claw clasp. Very silky feeling chain here. Drops down to Okay, drops down to this pearl. And these little rhinestones in here. I guess they're rhinestones. We're gonna make sure. <clears throat> you have a marquee cut and then four rounds. And yes, they are um little CZs. They're opened in the back. Let me look at those. They may be rhinestones. Oh, they're rhinestones. They have the foil on the back of them. That makes them rhinestones. We'll do this little necklace. Oh, and how long did I say? Sixteen inches. We'll do this little necklace for three dollars. Very sweet. Well, what do we have here? We have a stretched out elastic. Nice beads though. Hobby Lot, it's a dollar if you want it. Uh, this goes with that necklace, honey. Mm -hmm. I know it does. So put it in there with the necklace. Mm. Price we have on the necklace? Two dollars. Okay. Two dollars. The necklace and the bracelet. That's a deal. If I can fix it. Ooh, 925. Yippee skippy elephant. And it's got the shadowing in here that gives more dimension to the makes the elephant pop out a little bit better. Mm, that's a nice one. It's heavy too. Okay. This is a decision. Um, I'm going to keep it for now, but I may sell it later. The next is... These are little glass beads, and I think wooden beads. It's got a lobster claw clasp. Works fine. I don't see any writing on it. We'll do this for a dollar. Oh, didn't we have earrings to match this? Okay. <laughs> Remember the earrings we had or something? Earrings of feathers. Yeah, and they were these kind of feathers, I thought. They were in the last box. Mm -hmm. So if you got those, you might want to get this necklace to go with it. The necklace is a dollar. It's on gunmetal. It's got a lobster claw clasp, nice extender, and it's sign, etc. So, etc. 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 Lobster claw class extender, extender with a complimentary bead that matches the necklace. Nice end cap, silver tone. Beautiful beads, glass beads. Beautiful blue. It's a beautiful necklace. We'll do that one for three dollars. Very pretty. It's another little bangle. Silver tone. It's in fair condition. Try not to ring size her if you're looking for your magnet. Oh, thank you, honey. You're so mm -hmm. awesome. Very magnetic. Let's see what else we got over here. We have this one. It's a cuff. 
Real pretty design on that. Beautiful on the inside. I don't see any marks. It fits a medium wrist. We'll do these two. Is it cool. magnetic? Oh, I don't know. Yes. yes. Okay. We'll do these two for two dollars. We have a happy dance going on here. This has got discoloration on the back. We're going to do this one for a dollar. We're putting it in the hobby light though. Hobby light's a dollar if you want it. Ooh, this is pretty. Love the style on that. It is stretch. Oh yeah. That's really pretty. This one's five dollars. It's awesome. This one's in great shape. Not perfect, but great. Looks nice. It's got some wear on the bead, so be aware of that. Let's see if I can show it to you. Still got a pretty gold tone look to it. We're going to put it in Hobby Lot for a dollar if anybody wants it. And my Hobby Lot is flowing over. You can buy the Hobby Lot at any time for $28, and that includes shipping, because it's going to cost me at least $8.50 to ship it, if not more. This is Dream Big. I see something in there. Oh, that's because I'm seeing the Dream Big, the A. This looks like a copper bracelet. It goes with my ring that says... Oh, be true to your dreams. Cool copper bracelet. We will do this one for ten dollars. It's a uh, medium wrist, and it can go go in further if you have a smaller wrist. Oh, let's see what we got. These are very interesting. They all go together. They all have the same little coin emblem. And they all have the same tag as blessed and something else. What does it say? My Saint, My Hero. So there's one. There's this one. Now it's got a different mark. But it's still my saint, my hero. Two. There's this one. I want to make sure they all work. They do. And this one. Oh yeah, it works. Okay. That one mm -hmm. and the last is this one. We're going to do these for $12. One, two, three, four, five. They're absolutely beautiful. You've got AB crystals, you have pearls, you have chocolate pearls. You have the um, bronze, these coins, and the tags. Everything's in good shape. $12. Okay, the next one I have is this one. And it's got an M marked in there. But I don't know whose mark that is at all. It's in good shape. We'll do this one for three dollars. We have a Gamecock Span uh, bracelet here. That's the University of South Carolina. 
I'm putting that in the Hobby Lot if anybody wants it. It's a dollar. The next is leather. This is very pretty. And gold tone nuggets. Very pretty bracelet. We will do this one for three dollars. <clears throat> Next one we have are a stack of um, bangles. This one. That one's going in the Hobby Lot. I think your Hobby Lot runs over. Yeah, here. it does running over. <coughs> These are going in the Hobby Lot. Ah. Oh, oh mercy. Okay. Cool. 10 pounds of hobby in a five pound bag. I know. <laughs> so we'll do these four right here for $2. Very cool. This is very pretty. There's something on the inside and I need to read it. It says, Ooh, it's all in a, yeah, it's all in another language. Let's see. It looks uh, German to me. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'll do this. There we go. These are like those opaque, almost looks like opalite, but not. A little bracelet. I'm going to. I'm just coloring on here. I'm going to put this in the Hobby Lot for a dollar if anybody wants it. And I'm going to show you guys the Hobby Lot. There's trouble. <clears throat> the next is... Oh, it's broken. So this is a Hobby Lot for a dollar if anybody wants it. Oh, you look, should have left, read a little bit farther. It's got the guy's signature. It's made in Austria. Oh, Austria. It's right down here. Oh. It's well, a sign piece. It's a sign piece. It is somebody Frey. I think it's got a little Michaela, bit of Michaela Frey. Yeah. Made in Austria. And I have no idea on that. I think it's got a little gold in there because there's some on the other portions of it. Mm -hmm. It's got some, the last word, there's looks like gold. In or, this? Yeah, in the large description. Of the, the last oh, the word. large description, yeah. okay. Let me find it again. And when I'll, I'll take it and I'll go downstairs and let the... Yeah, go downstairs and check it out okay. and then we'll come back because they'll probably want to know too. Okay, for educational pur purposes. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just handle the rest of this, honey. Okay. I'll be back. While you're doing that. Oh, I found a necklace. Look at here. Look at here. Roto Orion. Roto Rion. Roto I don't know. Mm -hmm. You took the loop and now I can't read it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay. Uh, not sorry. I didn't think so. It says Terry Berry. This is weird. Terry Berry SP. Maybe silver plated. Rotor. Rotor. Rotorian. Rotorian. <laughs> Rotorian. Rion. Rotorian. Blah, 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 blah. You're it, dear. Try, <laughs> trying to. Here's the clasp. And I see something on the side here. I don't know if that's just... Not the clasp, but the ring to the side of the clasp. 
something that's just scratching or writing. I'm going to have to loop that too. So we'll come back to that one when he brings that back. Okay, I'm batting a thousand here. Love it. I've never seen a flag pen like this. It's got the shape of the United States. And then we have this nice flag pen here. They're in great shape. We'll do those for $2. That's cool. $2. And we've got this little bracelet here with an elephant. And let me come back. It's too close. It's a little elephant charm. This one with a little cross charm that, again, it's missing stones. This one's going in the Hobby Lot. It's a dollar if you want it. Okay, so we still have the elephant, and then we have this little wire one that has all these little glass beads on it. We'll do these two together for $2. All right. All righty. Why does this look familiar? Have these. Here's the backs. They're in excellent condition. We'll do these for two dollars. Guess what? Everything's gonna be two dollars. We have these earrings. They remind me of the sun. They are um, post. They're in very good condition. The metal is in excellent condition, in fact. We're going to do these for $2. Okay. This is interesting. We have, wow, these right here, Taramanda, Taramanda. I've seen these in a, a store in New Orleans. I'm gonna do these for $2. Pretty enamel. We have these pretty silver tone earrings here. They are post. They are heavy. Now, I'm warning you, these are these are what have a good weight to them. Two dollars. these earrings here with X's <coughs> and that's very unusual they're like hoops once you uh, snap them together these are two dollars Next pair we have are these little teardrop with surrounded by rhinestones, black stones. They are pierced, post, and they are two dollars. These little earrings here look like Nefertiti, telling each other secrets. They are post and they are two dollars. We have these pretty ones. They're clip-ons and I'm heartbroken because this one's broke. No! 
And Fiona would love those. I mean, if I could find that part or get a new one, I'd have it made. We're putting those in the Hobby Lot. Oh gosh, those are so cute. They're a dollar if you want them. <clears throat> Have. We have these pretty ones, gold tone and pearl. They are post. Here's the back. They're in good condition. Now that's slanted downwards. It needs to come up a little bit. I'm going to do that right now so you'll know they'll be okay when you get them. If I don't do it right, then you won't get them. There you go. These are two dollars. Oh, some more clip-ons that are messed up. Hmm. Could I put that one on this one? No, these are going in the Hobby Lot also. Oh, I'm saving these little clip-ons with the balls for Fiona. She likes them when they have the little balls on the end. Here's some gold tone clip-ons with a little heart in the center. I have a little bit of discoloration here. I don't know if that's discoloration. I think it is. Yes. Whoops, here's the backs. These are vintage. And we're going to do these for a dollar. And we're going to put them in the hobby lot. The next pair we... Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. Ooh, I like them a lot. They're elephants with the trunk up. They're very pretty. We're going to do these for three dollars. It's very cool. We're going to do these little lever back hearts and these little acrylic um, wrench wire earrings in the gold tone. Together for two dollars. Two, two for one. Two dollars. Get two earrings for one price. We have these that are post. They have a little discoloration. They just look like a vintage gold tone, antique gold color. We're going to put those in the hobby lot for a dollar if you want them. We have these little clip ons. I don't think I have any more clip ons. Nope. Here's the backs. We're going to put those in the hobby lot. For a dollar. We have these post and they look brassy, so let's see. Nope. So we're gonna do these and put them in the hobby lot for a dollar, and we're gonna put these in the hobby lot for a dollar. And the verdict is in. What do we have? Um, the, the translation is steel metal rim, fired enamel, fine gold decoration. It's vintage mm -hmm. from the designer. And looking up on... Okay. It runs 65 to $90. Depending on which... Yeah. Have different designs. But, on different designs. Yeah. 
and that's what that is. So we will do this one for thirty dollars, and it is vintage from the seventies. From the seventies, it's a great find. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Definite surprise there. Yep. I gave you your loop back, didn't? I? Yep. That's right here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did. And then we have these earrings here. I love these earrings. They are post. We're going to do those for $3. Okay, let me help you here, honey. Okay. okay. All of this is two, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $
It's a Susie. Wah, wah. Looks like though it could be uh, 925, so let me check that. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's got to be clean. I can really see. You can miss things too if it's a little bit dirty. Anyway, it's not magnetic. Let me give it a little rub. Okay. It's not going to be silver because it's brass. See, the, it's now, that's copper. That's a brass rub. And that's a silver rub. You can tell the difference now. You can see it. And you get good at that once you've been doing this long enough. So that's why it wasn't magnetic. These are nice. Very pretty. I swear we've got the mate to that in some of the other jars we've got. Okay, well, we'll be looking. We'll just sit down one night and throw them all out and go through them again. Separate, different piles. Different piles. <laughs> no, we'll just do it all together because then we'll know. So then you won't be able to find anything when you mix them all up. I won't want to find them again. After we go through the jars, honey. Okay. That'll be the end of the story. Okay. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this jewelry jar opening. We're getting ready probably to do another one too. And if you like these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up. We appreciate your comments. We appreciate you just watching, coming, stopping by and saying hello. Uh, it's always a joy to see my fairy, uh, fellow jewelry dutiers come by and say hello. And um, we will see you guys in the next jar opening. Have a blessed day. Bye. Bye-bye.